Chapter 4 is to introduce the introduction to structural geology and for chapter 4 the discussion divided into two which are plain, plain witness in rock and geological map. The video will be split into several videos so that we, we can understand all the discussion. For structural geology, the first thing that you need to know is the term structural geology. This is a study uh, in terms of the formation of rock and rock failure created by the changes in stress in geologic time. So before we understand the sentence, this is what you already know. In sedimentary rock, what we have is parallel bedding. This is the original uh, rock and there is no changes. If exposed to the atmosphere, atmosphere, there is no changes in stress. So this is remain intact. But a lot of uh, things happen in earth crust, especially tectonic plate movement. And that plate tectonic movement will impose stress in the body of rock. And with the existing of that stress, towards the end, we have this kind of deformation from the original rock. And we need to understand what are the deformation and the failure of rock. The idea is uh, for you to know the definition of structural geology. You can highlight the word permanent deformation. Deformation means it's change in terms of form. The original form and then change to a new form. Uh, either uh, deformation, permanent deformation or rock failure, both are in the discussion of geologic structures. And these are due to changes in stress through geologic time. Okay, what are the source of these stresses? This is uh, the the source is from the plate tectonic movement and the tectonic process are responsible for many discontinuity planes. Okay, what is discontinuity planes? It is divided into three terms which are fractures, faults and joint. And this permeate permeate rock masses controlling their strength, uh, stress characteristic, and the transmission of storage of fluids. Any rock subjected to stresses, it will change in terms of the rock strength. It also change in terms of rock stress strain characteristic and also change in the transmission of and, and storage of fluids. So next, you need to know the behavior of rock. We have two types of behavior. The first one is brittle structure and the second one is ductile structure. So for us to understand what are brittle and ductile, uh, this is what you can imagine. This is uh, ice cream stick and this is plastic ruler. To explain what is brittle material, imagine your ice cream stick and we put stress uh, at the below of the ice cream stick. So if you put a large amount of stress and it is very rapid, we have this uh, kind of breakage in the middle and the ice cream stick split into two. So this is what we call as brittle material. And for ductile material, if we put uh, amount, some amount of stress and prolong the time we put to put that stress, okay, we have the kind of material that will bend like this one. And this is uh, behave like your plastic ruler. So this one is kind of ductile material. Okay, so... This is uh, what you know in terms of behavior, uh, brittle structure and also ductile structure. So, uh, what types of discontinuity planes or failure for brittle structure? The types are faults and also joints. What are the types of ductile structures failure? We have fault and then metamorphic foliations. So, that are the sample for rock deformation or rock failure failure based on the behavior of the rock 
in real uh, picture you can google and then you find a lot of picture explain uh, what are the the formation of original rock you can see this is the structure when it puts stress uh, it is deformed like it, that one originally it might be parallel bedding and you have this kind of uh, folding and this kind of deformation and you have uh, this arch shape of failure and so on so this is another way of looking of the deformation so everything has name so you need to differentiate uh, all of that okay and uh, to understand more we already mentioned about stress and right now you must uh, understand there are three types of stresses the fun the first one is compression second one is tension and the third one is shear compression is if you have material what we do is we provide stress in this position and this material will compress or squeeze and uh, what happened to relate to geology movement is convergent tectonic plates for tension you have material but instead of compress this one is pulling out the rock so it's pulling out the rock apart and that is what you see in convergence continent for sure we have two types of stresses one is um, this way or this way or either is pulling it that way or pulling that way it has two stress but it acted in opposite direction that one we call it a shear this one you can see in transform uh, transform plates and the results forces acting parallel but in opposite direction such as in full okay that is uh, the first one we have already explained about the uh, behavior of rock second we uh, discuss about stresses in rock mass and how the behavior of rock and stress condition will affect to the rock deformation okay let's see in terms of the factor that govern the way a rock deform are as follows okay can we look into this first this is the condition when confining pressure and temperature okay we have a structure we know that the earth structure the thickness is very deep but we have this surface near the surface rock and this is more likely to behave like brittle material rock may have behave in a brittle manner when near the surface of earth where the confining pressure and temperature are relatively low so near the earth surface the confining pressure is low the temperature is also is low and your rock mass is here is kind of very rigid so when you give uh, some sort of stress and very rapid so this rock mass will behave like brittle material and then to compare with the condition when time over which the stress is applied okay um this is the way you need to look at it this is the position uh, where to explain time over which the stress is applied in the deeper uh, location of the rock this is more uh, the the rock having a lot more in terms of heat and temperature so this is the region where your rock is most likely dark tile material so in, in but a rock may not respond plastically if the stress applied is rapid uh, this is the same condition as the above but may undergo extensive plastic deformation if the stress applied is slow but long sustained so at the lower region of the earth the rock is more ductile in terms of the nature and you put stress to the rock and then prolong the process so this rock will behave like ductile material 
So that is all for the first discussion and we will meet again.